Hello Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. This is a general reading and it might not resonate with everyone. So there's a playlist for November if you want to look at that on my channel. Or you could look at your moon and rising signs to see if it makes more sense. We have, it's up to you. It always is up to you. It's up to you which way you go forward. It's up to you how you want to go about yourself. We all have that freedom of choice. Renewal. This is about rebirth and rejuvenation here. So being at one with everything, your environments, your relationships, your situations. There's a chance for renewal and rebirth here. Could be the birth of a child as well. If you want a family, release. Now, there's certain things that we need to release to bring in this new beginning. So it could be releasing a, mens a mindset, it could be releasing anything that's tangible, a relationship, a job. Anything that's not working out for you. Or it could be your mindset as well. We'll have a look and see what this is about. The Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy there. The Eight of Pentacles. The Moon card. Beautiful Queen of Wands. The overall central energy is choices. Seven of Cups. So we can see why. I did say it could be a mindset. The Hierophant. The beautiful King of Pentacles. Beautiful Rainbow of Blessings there. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, we can see why. Now it's up to you here and I can see why it's up to you. Because there's a certain amount of stability in certain areas of your life. It could be within your job, your environment, your home life or your finances. So you've got a certain amount of security here. But we're feeling stuck. We need to release something here for, the, for, to, for growth to come in. We're holding on to something too tightly and there's no growth, no movement. Now, this could be, for example, being in a job that pays your bills, but you don't enjoy it. It could be living with a person or a, so in an environment where... You know, you've lived in for a long time and you're used to it. But it could be your relationships, something's missing. It's You're holding on to something and you need to grow. There's no, no future in any of these things. There's no prospects, if you like. No improvement is coming. So we need to release something here. So whether it be releasing your job, your relationships, um, your finances. Now, it could be as well. It could be that you're holding on to money and you've got a lot of savings, but it's not going to grow. So you might want to invest it into something. Now, this is all very nice, but there's not going to be any growth is going to come from it. So what Spirit is saying is it's very much up to you if you want to stay in that energy, because the overall energy here is about making choices. And this can feel very, very overwhelming. So there's confusion over choices or you're feeling overwhelmed. It's almost as if you're frightened to make these choices. It's on the same, it's on the same um, line as your Four of Pentacles. There's a fear aspect to this. It feels overwhelming. We've had security. Sometimes our security can become, our, our comfort zone can become a lot in that sense. And we're a kind of fear to move away from that, which is human. It's un, it's, uh, it does you know, it is acceptable to be feeling like that. But what Spirit's saying is it's time for new things to come in. It's time for rebirth and rejuvenation, something fresh to come in. Now, don't be frightened because you can see the moon here starts to turn into the sun. So things will be revealed as you go along life's path. What Spirit's saying here is that you're, you're your own best guru. You've got the knowledge here. You've got the knowledge. It's about having knowledge. It's a very spiritual card here. And you've got what it takes here. You've got all the knowledge you need. You're, it's about traditional values. You know, it could be that you're in a marriage because you've always believed that, you know, when you marry, you marry for life, but it might not be working out that way. So your traditional values here might be holding you back as well. But if you're true to your authentic self, you've got the knowledge you need. It will help you make good decisions for yourself. It also could be that you're needing to home into how you your traditional values to help you make these decisions because these can feel confusing. You can see here that some some options have got, you know, they've got winners, victory wreaths, and some have got snakes in them here, uh, Pisces. But what we're saying here is you've got the knowledge to know how to start 
you know that they're all choices have been for you, but you've definitely got the knowledge it takes to be able to make good decisions for yourself here. Because what we've got here is we've got what you're good at. You're very skilled. You're good at what you do on a daily basis. So this could be you being skilled within your job environment, your focus, you've got your head down. You're making your money, but you're not inspired. There's something lacking. There's rebirth and rejuvenation needing to come in. So what Spirit is saying here is you need to pay attention to the details and look at things here and decide how you want to go forward to grow your pentacles. And it's about focus, being very focused now and putting your hard work into situations, whether it be your work, your finances, your relationships or your home life. Put your work into something where you know your skills are going to be appreciated and that they can grow and there'll be movement forward. Because from doing that, there's going to be a lot of abundance will come in for you. So we want to be in situations where we're being appreciated. Our skills are being appreciated. We're in jobs where we're, we're not just going through the motions. We're not just going through the motions of relationships. We might be that we could invest our money into something and it could grow. We're holding on to our savings. We could maybe look at the details of that. We might want to invest it into property whatever it may be, but there's a lot of abundance for you coming in if you do this. Now, it's up to you. You can sit in this energy. A lot of people do. They sit in this energy, of going through the motions of life. And I get that feeling with this reading that I know it's difficult if you've been in things for a long time to actually find the, the courage to go forward. But spirit will reveal your path. You will come. You will learn as you go. That's what I'm trying to say. So be true to yourself, your true authentic self here. And be honest with yourself. You're your own best guru. That's the best way I can put it. Because making the changes and releasing things that are boring you or things that are monotonous or things that where there's no growth in them is going to bring in a lot of abundance to your life. So there could be new job opportunities. There could be supposed to have networks within teams at your workplace. You could end up, your skills are being recognised. You're becoming inspired again. And you could end up with financial increases, wage rises. You could be investing in property and it makes money. You know, your property makes money. But this can be any kind of investment that pays off. It could also be um, windfalls as well, you know, that could move you on. It could be inherent inheritance. I can't say that word for some reason. Sometimes I can. You could be inheriting money. You could have compensation coming through. Uh, there could be abundant people around you that could support you here. Uh, to move on, to come away from this unstuck place. So you could end up, like I say, being inspired by people round about you and having good support networks around. And this will bring you into this beautiful Queen of Wands energy. And this is what the renewal is about. Renewal is about putting your heart and soul into things that you're passionate about. And this is this beautiful Queen of Wands. This is what she does. She's creative. She loves her job. She uses her creative skills to develop things. She loves her relationships. She loves her partner and it grows. She invests her money in things that she enjoys. She's enjoying life and she's creating abundance for herself. She's creating this kind of abundance because she's passionate about what she's investing in. So it's time to think about that. And when we do these things, uh, apart from all the abundance and financial uh, you know, improvements we could bring in, we go into this King of Pentacles energy. And the King of Pentacles is somebody who's sitting back and enjoying the fruits of his labour. He's somebody who's done the hard work. He's invested in the right people. He's been passionate about where he's put his efforts. He's got a good home life. He's got financial security. He's got good relationships around him. And he's very secure, very secure. He's released all the things that are holding him back. So there's something you need to let go here uh, to bring rebirth and rejuvenation in. But it's up to you. It's always up to you what you want to do. You have the right of freedom of choice in life. I'll just take a fairy message to end this reading for Pisces. Hidden depth. Hidden depth. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what hi what's hidden, we can become free. And that's what we need to be doing here. We need to be honest with ourselves. We need to be tuning in with ourselves. I mean, we're our own best guru. I hope this helps, Pisces. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.